All right, here we go, kids. Okay. Goes like this. All right, this is electronic engine controls, yeah? Yeah. The question was, what does the intake air temperature sensor do, and who does it report to, and who, what does what it reports to do with what the intake air temperature sends, sends it? Well, over here I've got a selection of the different sensors that um, go to the computer and tell the computer what's going on with the car. This is closed loop operation. Now, your car may be different, but that's pretty much what most modern cars have. All right, right here's the PCM. What is that? Powertrain control module. Powertrain control module is correct. And as you can see, it's the module that controls the powertrain. Yeah, the powertrain is the engine, transmission, transaxles, if you got them. Okay, what's IAT? Intake air temperature. Intake air temperature, that is correct. So what it's doing is it's sensing the temperature of the intake air. Now that's important because, after all, the density of the air is going to be proportional to its temperature, yeah? All right, what's the ECT? Uh, engine coolant temperature. And you need to know the engine coolant temperature so you can know, well, for one thing, you want to turn the fans on, but mostly because that engine temperature is going to have a lot to do with how you um, configure your fuel mixture and your ignition advance. Now, you can see over here, these are the outputs, those are the actuators. What's ISC? Idle speed control. Yeah? What does the idle speed control do? Controls the speed of the idle. It controls the speed of the idle. That is correct. What's EFI? Uh, engine. Electronic fuel oh. injection? Yeah. Really? Uh -huh. Electronic fuel injection. What does that do? It pumps fuel into the engine. There you go. Good. In the right amounts at the right time, yeah? Yeah. Okay. What's IGN? Ignition. Yeah, that's going to be ignition. Okay, so that's what's going to fire the spark plug at the right time in the right amount. Yeah, including spark advance. What's EVAP? You better be writing this stuff down, folks. No, that's your evaporative emission control system. Okay, what's what's evaporative emission? Like what leaves the car? Well, it used to leave the car. It's when the fuel system gets so hot that some of the fuel vaporizes, turns into a gas, and we have to control that. Okay, so here we are, we got IT, we got ECT, what's TPS? Throttle position sensor, no, that's TPMS. Tire pressure monitoring system, right? These are engine sensors, yeah? TPS is throttle position sensor. What's the throttle position sensor do? It senses the position of the throttle, that is correct. So it wants to know if you're, say, at idle, or if you're mid-throttle, or if you're at full throttle, yeah? What's idle speed? What's what? Idle speed. Speed of idle. That is correct, but what's it defined as? Well, I used to know it. Idle speed is the speed of the engine when your foot is off the gas, right? Uh-huh. Supposed to be within 650 to 850, something like that. Might be lower on a car that's really, really new. Okay, HO2B1S1. HO2 is heated oxygen sensor. How many oxygen sensors do you have? Well, it depends on the car. It depends on whether you got a V engine or an inline engine. However, this one is a V engine because it's got two bank one and bank two oxygen sensors. The heated oxygen sensor, HO2, they're heating the oxygen sensor so you'll get into closed loop quicker, yeah? Okay, well this is bank one sensor one, and this is bank two sensor one. So those are oxygen sensors on the exhaust of each bank of a V engine. Yes, and what does the oxygen sensor sense? That's correct. The oxygen in the what? In the intake. In the intake, really? Yeah, and the exhaust is correct. Thank you very much. Yes, some of us have been doing some wrestling with some oxygen sensors this year. 
Okay. MAF. Mass airflow. Mass airflow, that is correct. That's <laughs> not only going to be sensing the amount of air going in the engine, it's also going to be sensing its density. And VSS, anyone remember that? Vehicle speed sensor. Vehicle speed sensor. It's found on the transmission's output shaft, yeah? And that tells the computer how fast the engine, the car is going. So all these inputs go into the computer, and the computer goes from its programming and figures out what to do about these four. That's it. That's electronic engine controls. Now the question was, what does the intake air temperature affect? Well, it reports to the computer, as all of these sensors do, it reports to the computer, and then the computer's going to be making some decisions, primarily what do you think is the primary thing that the intake air temperature sensor reading is going to affect of these four? Mass airflow? Not this. What is this reading going to affect over here? Primarily. Is it going to affect the idle speed? No. No. Probably not going to affect the EVAP either. It might have some, yeah, good. It might have some effect on the ignition, but what it's primarily about is the FI. Because after all, we have to remember air-fuel ratio is by weight, not by volume. So we have to know how dense the intake air coming in is so that we can know how much fuel to put out. Ah, how does a car with electronic fuel injection control the amount of fuel? Computer is correct. Cars with electronic fuel injection control the air fuel ratio by the computer. By varying the amount of time that the injector is held open, which is called pulse width, and measured in milliseconds. Yeah? It's easy. Just remember that. You'll be way ahead. Yeah? Okay, so that's a little basic electronic engine controls for you.